3 a.m. Can't see anything, but I'm on top of the mountain thing where I camped. Um, I am about to get going in about 15 minutes to the top of the mirror. Sometimes it like blows my mind that I'm like by myself at 5 a.m. walking across like a glacier field. <laughs> like one minute you're at home petting the dog, the next minute you're in the middle of who knows where, just vibing with the mountains. Love it. Love my life. And I can see the hut. Please close the door immediately. Let's see. Oh. Very warm. Say breakfast at the top of the mirror and um i just want to say first of all i'm not by myself up here i'm really proud of myself um sorry to lie <laughs> i think maybe i say that a lot in the series but i mean i just can't believe i'm doing this let alone like with just myself and and i'm like enjoying it being by myself so i'm on schedule and it's just kind of nice to come up here and like it's just you in the mountains and it's just beautiful and it's hard work and there's moments that are a little bit scary and you have to work through them in your mind and i'm just proud of myself for pushing myself and for getting this far so just want to document um just want to document that i'm feeling proud We'll be doing this for like five miles. <laughs> Not bad when you come early and it's hard near your spikes on, you kind of just walk across it. Only post hold a couple times, so that's good. Y'all, there is nobody out here. It's just me. Like, crazy this is the first pass where it's been like no one like I've been by myself on each pass like just with you know there's been but there's been strangers like other hikers obviously going off the pass over there is no one I'm like hmm did I miss something here um why am I the only one out here but really what it is is I broke the pass getting to John Muir up into two days. I think some people just went all the way through, um, which would have been really, really hard because it was like 27 miles between the last pass and this one. And this is one that you like 
absolutely needed to wake up early for. And it's also one that you couldn't camp close to because there's so much snow. So um, I'm guessing that's why I'm alone because um, I'm one of the few that broke it up into two, so I think I'm in between the bubble. But it's so cool to be out here and like truly feel like this is just me and nature. Like, whoa, just little old me and them big old mountains. by 10, 10 miles by 10. I didn't even try to do that. I'm not someone that like really cares about, oh shoot, excuse me. Gotta go. Anyways, 10 by 10. Yo. These mosquitoes are next level. I like have DEET on. I was like hitting them away and as soon as I stopped talking, I mean, as soon as they've been biting me while I hike. As soon as I stopped, dude, they were swarming and attacking my face. Whoa. Sierra mosquitoes aren't playing around. Not cool. I guess it's motivation to literally just not stop walking today because that was nuts. I don't even think that's probably as bad as it gets. I've heard like, basically they will literally swarm you. There's probably like, the back there was probably like seven swarming me, but I've seen videos where there's like hundreds, so. I'm not excited about that. I don't even know what you would do. You just have to keep walking. Like, <laughs> there's nothing you can do. Yeah, deep doesn't seem to work. I might just have to like wear my freaking rain jacket once it gets really bad. For now, I'll just keep walking. Okay, I've been talking a lot today, but one more thing I think is funny. I like him walking through mosquito territory anytime it's like very moist or like just like, like swamp looking stuff. I walk through that territory like seen in Lord of the Rings where they're trying not to disturb the goblins in the tunnel. They're trying to be really quiet. I try to go through. I literally try to sneak through without making any sound. Sneak through the mosquito house. Don't let them know I'm here. I don't know if it's working or not. Probably not. Anyways, I thought that was funny. crossing it's so cool well this is an alternative route because the other one is really deep it's probably good for my legs but it hurts
my god. I officially have hit mosquito territory. There are thousands of them and you cannot get away. Like they're swarming you. Like I built my tent so fast and I'm just sitting in it. <laughs> they're everywhere, oh my god. Like I got bit like so many times. So many times. That was miserable. I have DEET on. DEET doesn't help at all. I'm gonna have to wear my rain jacket and my head net or something. Y'all, that's nuts. I'm never gonna, gonna complain about the mosquitoes in Texas, like, ever again. Dude, that's literally a leech in the water I collect. Freaking leech. Boom. So, I did 22 miles today. Um, I was gonna just do 20, and then there was, like, it was weird, like as soon as you cross the river into the John Muir wilderness section, it's like a whole new world. Like went back to feeling like deserty, no water. I found that water and the whole terrain tra changed. That's when the mosquitoes came out. It was so weird. It's like you cross the bridge into hell. It's pretty, but it's like, there was like spiders crawling on my back. I, I just like feel like I went to a whole nother dimension um, leeches in the water like I have to throw that water out That's I'm not filtering that like that's disgusting. I'll just uh, Eat dried food tonight. Isn't that cool? This is nasty Crazy y'all crazy Good morning. I slept like From 6 to 6 12 hours. I'm still tired. I don't know how I'm gonna make it through these next three days. <laughs> um, yeah, my body's tired. I did 22 yesterday, and I think that was really tough. I don't even know if it was like the Maybe it's all the blood I, let. I lost to mosquitoes. <laughs> Maybe that's why I have no energy. <laughs> I think I'm funny. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna take this off. I am like, really tired. So, um, but it really the time when she's doing something like about 850 something. So, nice. I'm gonna do Selden Pass today. Probably, you know, post all or slug the whole time because I'm not going early. But I'm just gonna do it. Okay, bye. Okay. I just went to the bathroom. Um,. You know, to do my duty of the day and word of advice you better go fast because the mosquitoes are already out and you're opening up a lot of prime real estate for them it's the worst that was the worst i've never gone so fast in my life i'm like hopping around <laughs> y'all these mosquitoes I've, i'll quit talking about it but I've, I don't realize how much it impacts me because like, again, just going to the bathroom, like you have to do it fast because they're on you. I mean, lots of them. Oh, wow. What, what an experience. I'm gonna have to figure something out about this. I'm definitely gonna treat my clothes with permethrin or whatever it's called in town because this is nuts. Like I'm, in my, I'm gonna be hiking in my freaking rainco all day. Just watch. Good time. Yo, I am now in this full get up from now on. It's my mosquito outfit. Seems to be working. Um, plus people can just, they see me, they'll be like, oh, maybe it's gonna rain. Or maybe she's cold. Not like she's a baby about bugs, which I am. Very beautiful. Can't stop for long because bugs. Also, shout out to the women's soccer team in Minfeld. While I've been out here, I've been thinking a lot about the hike that we did. I think I was like 19 and I didn't know what hiking was. And you guys took me to the Kipner Hoot in the Alps. And that's where I learned hiking is no joke. And I guess somehow that inspired me years later to do this sometimes, somehow. So, Shout out to the women's soccer team, they're awesome in Minfeld, Germany. Miss you guys, hope I get to visit soon.
back of Selden Pass, where I'm headed. 10 out of 10, would recommend Selden Pass. Um, it's only like, it's almost exactly 11,000 feet elevation, but the path going up was beautiful, hardly any snow. It wasn't like crazy steep climb anywhere, and there was like climb flat, climb flat, which is really nice to break it up. Um, overall, I really enjoyed it. I don't know if I enjoyed it because it was easier. Um, I think I enjoyed it because for one, the scenery reminded me of home a little bit, kind of like Tallahena area in Oklahoma. Um, and it felt like you were kind of like in the woods all the time instead of just like climbing like rocks. So I think the scenery was like more distracting on the way up, so I thought that was cool. But pass is definitely the easiest pass I've done. Like, don't feel that bad after it. Um, my pack is lighter though, maybe that's it. But uh, yeah. Selden was great. Um, looks like a little more snow on the way down, but very patchy. Not really worried about it. So I only have silver pass left now till Mammoth. So rock and roll. So I'm past most of the snow parts, I think, coming down Selden. It's very cloudy today, like totally overcast, which is new for what I've experienced so far on trail. I pulled the weather, it's not really supposed to rain. Like, said zero percent chance so it should just be cloudy um but yeah i had selden all to myself been vibing on my own um i did fall and bust my tailbone a little bit coming down there's a lot of snow but oh well as long as it's not broken it'll mend and if it's broken i'm gonna pretend it's not nah it's not broken it's definitely it's gonna hurt I bruised it. Doesn't help that I sit on rocks every day right there on my back. Anyways, cool day so far. It's just been real chill. No sun, which is odd. So, I'm sitting here laughing to myself because I was just thinking about my weight loss so far. So I've already said I think that I've lost probably now over 20 pounds. Um, since the start of trail. Like these pants I picked up at the hiker box at Kenny Meadows <laughs> were like tight around like the butt and the way, like the waist and stuff like, but they fit. Now they're like loose and like falling down. Um, it's just funny because I would have killed to lose this weight. Like before trail my real life, like I would have been like, yes. And on trail you're like, no, <laughs> what am I doing wrong? I mean, I, I've already talked about it. I just can't consume the calories that I'm burning and like, unless I want to carry an absurd amount of weight and I'm just, I'm just gonna like kind of suffer through the Sierras a little bit as far as eating. Plus my appetite's been down out here. But anyways, I'm gonna let you in on a diet secret, all you people back at home and in your normal lives. Um, normal meaning not trail life. Um, all you have to do Listen, get a pen and paper. All you have to do is get a backpack, fill it with 42 pounds worth of rocks or whatever you want. Maybe you can fill it with candy bars because that's not seeming to affect me. Um, walk around every day, all day, preferably up hills, um, with lots of obstacles. Like you have to parkour, you have to hop over cars, whatever you can do in your neighborhood. Now do that for six months, no, three. I'm on month three, basically. Do it for three months, every day. And you can't quit. That's the thing about diets, you can't quit. You gotta keep doing it every day. And you'll, you'll like lose weight so fast, it's crazy. Like I might start a program, instead of drinking all that sugar powder that different uh, companies sell you, I'll get you the real natural stuff. 40 pound pack, exercise 12 hours a day, and not stopping. What a concept, y'all. Don't tell anyone, I'm gonna market this when I'm done with trail. It's gonna be a cool weight loss program where you just backpack the rest of your life. You'll never be fat again. Not fat, that's a bad word. You'll never be the weight you don't wanna be again, because I mean, I don't think I was fat before trail, but I've been, I was heavier. And uh, yeah, <laughs> laughing, looking back on it now. 
All right, that's enough jokes for now. I guess I'll start hiking again, you know. I'm in the middle of my weight loss program, so gotta go. Okay, another thing, sorry. I'm feeling funny today. <laughs> um, I think I've come up with what, how I feel post holes are. Like, I've been post holing and it's like, I said to myself out loud for no reason, I was like, post holes are the surprises you don't want in life. <laughs> and it's so true. Like, you're like just walking along and boom, surprise. You post hold and sometimes you get real confident and you're going you're going fat you're flying because you haven't post hold in a few minutes you're feeling good and then life hands you another surprise boom post hold again it's a post hold party out here y'all but it's not very deep so it's it's okay that's why i'm laughing about it i only am cool with it when i know i'm probably not gonna break an ankle which i don't want to jinx myself i still could but Better get off the phone. I'll quit being funny now. Maybe. Bye. Just did my first major river crossing because I skipped Evolution Creek yesterday. I took the alternate. Today, I decided to just go through it. Well, there was no alternate. Um, not bad at all. I can tell why people are scared. Like, you can definitely feel the current, but not horrible. Um, and this couple went across first and waited for me to cross. So that was really nice. Thank you guys. Um, yeah, all in all, success. Here we go again. We got across that. At least this time there's uh, hogs. good spot there's a stream over there clearly mountains in the back very good spot I'm in the pines I'm in the pines <laughs> <laughs>